Welcome to Foodcast Kitchen. I'm your host, Rick, and today we're gonna make crisp potato. Potato is a such a versatile vegetable. You can make so many things with it. And today you're gonna learn something amazing. It's something really fun and so easy to make. Your family and friends will love it. And what we need is potatoes, cheese, cornstarch and salt. First step, we're gonna shred our cheese. I'm using a plant-based cheese, but you can use whatever you want. I recommend mozzarella. After that, peel your potatoes, dice them and place in a pot with cold water. You slowly bring to boil. You're gonna cook for approximately 15 minutes until the potatoes are soft. Strain them, place in a different container and smash your potatoes. Add your cheese and keep smashing until you incorporate fully. I would recommend to use a spatula that gets more smooth and nice. Add on your cornstarch and keep mixing until fully incorporate. Reserve a part using a Ziploc bag or in my case I'm using here a vacuum bag. Now we just spread all the potato evenly. With the help of the vacuum pack machine just make the things easier. Place the potatoes in the freezer for approximately 30 minutes just to set them down and reserve them aside. As the oil heats up, you just take out of the packet your potato, cut in a half and in little strips for approximately 1 cm. Next step, just make sure your oil is around 180 degrees and that's it, just start to fry. Cook for approximately 3-4 to four minutes. It's so easy and quick to do it. Today's sponsor is Foodcast. Do you want to promote your brand or product in an effective way, direct to our public? Check our website, social media and all products and services we provide. Contact us for more information. This is Foodcast, where you promote your brand and there we more. Go. This is our crisp potato. They are really easy to make, fun and quick. And I will eat with our aioli bowl. Now the best part. Taste it. So they're so crispy. Mm, they're crispy. They're fluffy. The seasoning is just right. Wow. It's really good. Don't forget to smash that like, follow, and share button. This is Foodcast, where you watch your cooking videos and more.